great and wonderful Sunday morning, Rockbridge Youth. Just wanted to say thank you to all that um, logged into our Zoom session to participate in our new lesson entitled The King. Um, it, it was, it's an interesting lesson that I hope that other youth members will be encouraged to join. And if you know someone who is not connected uh, to the body, please invite them to join us uh, next Sunday at 11 a.m. And yes, our, our time did change from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. to make it more accessible for our youth because we know you're on a different time schedule than um, say our seasoned people. Um, so we wanna make sure that you're awake, you've had your breakfast or whatever it is that gets you going in the morning and that you're ready to engage. Um, and again, I, th I just thank you guys for continuing to um, walk the walk. Um, it's so easy today to just say, you know, with everything that's going on, I, I'm going to push back and I'm just going to, you know, wait and see. But there is no waiting and seeing when you're in the word of Christ, when you're living in the world. It's going to continue to go on. And no matter what you do, you need to stay covered in his word and you need to stay in community. And so I am I'm literally basically the facilitator for you guys. I encourage you all to step up your leadership qualities. Don't be worried about what other people may say or think about what you have to say or what you need to ask to understand the word. Um, because only you will gain from it. Actually, everybody will gain from it. It'll make them feel more comfortable that, hey, this person asked this question and they got an answer. They're wiser for it now. And so maybe, you know, it, it will help others do the same. So I'll move past that and tell you about the lesson that we're in called The King. So the big idea of the series is, um, and I'll just basically give you the the highlight. This, this four-week sermon series covers the life of Solomon, including his rise to kingship over Israel and his horrible demise. Prayerfully, this story will remind us of God's requirement of loyalty in our heart. Um, we will see how Solomon started his kingship full of God's blessings, and we will see the king's disobedient choices. Um, and we will see how God is true to his word to punish those who serve idols. And um, this is very important in today's world because we are surrounded by people who have idols or things that we can make our idol. We can make money our idol. We can make TV, video games, our friendships, other people idols. So this is important that we stay grounded and we know why we are in this, why we're reading this, this, this Bible and why we are, um, it's so very important to spread the word because, um, we, we have everything that we need in, in, in this Bible. We really and truly do. And, um, you guys are off to a great start. And so I, I, I encourage you to invite people uh, next Sunday at 11. And I encourage you to, um, you know, start speaking truth into their life, not pushing it down anyone's throat. But, you know, if you see someone and you care about them and you see that maybe they are going through um, a time, maybe you should, you know, suggest a little lesson or a little word from from the Bible, the book that God has given us, like our instruction manual. But um, again, I hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week at 11 a.m. And if you have any prayer requests or um, anything that's on your mind, please do reach out to me at reagan at rockbridgechurch.com. Bless you all. Have a great week.